All right, this video we're going to just go through a case study. Uh, we're going to do a tax on uh, luxury goods. And let's do something. Um, let's do tax on yachts. So this big, big fancy boats uh, bought by people with a lot of money. All right. Those, so the before we start, I'm going to give you the bad news. The bad news is the demand is elastic. So for luxury, these kind of luxury items, um, there's a lot of choices. So you have tons of money. You can spend it on a yacht. You can spend it on a, um, a speedboat. You can spend it on a plane, fancy cars, vacations. Uh, you always have lots of choices. And also, um, some of these things you can choose to buy in another country. If the tax gets too big in one place, you can choose to buy in a lot, another country, whatever. So often luxury items have pretty elastic demands okay and this becomes a problem because usually the tax on luxury goods is quite popular um, politically because it seems like a good idea so well you know let's make people with a lot of money uh, pay the tax because uh, quote unquote they, they can afford afford it okay so let's take a look at this I'm just gonna draw the supply kind of intermediate okay and then I'm gonna make my demand very all right so we're right here so right now we are here, this Q star. All right. So now what's going to happen? So let's put our tax. So I say, okay, there's our luxury tax. And we put on this luxury tax. And let's see what happens. Okay, so we go over to here. And now uh, it reduces our quantity. Our quantity gets reduced to QT. And the price of the buyer goes up a little. And the price of the seller goes down quite a bit more. Okay, so let's take a look at this at this situation and then try to think of it as a real world example of, of this situation. So first, what happens? Well, the, the first thing that happens is our, um, our wealthy guy that we're, we're kind of targeting a wealthy person. So the, the rich person, I know that's kind of not very nice. Okay, the person who um, is buying the yacht the customer pays a little more okay so the customer pays a little more for their yacht okay um, pays a little more okay but the company receives a lot less okay the company receives a lot less so actually most of this falls onto the company so you're in the the tax the idea of these luxury taxes it kind of they're kind of attractive because you're saying oh we'll take we're gonna get this money from the um, from the wealthy consumers, right? But actually, the customer is just going to pay a little more if their demand is elastic, and the company is going to receive a lot less. Well, and um, who is the company? Well, this is going to, and the quantity is going to go down a lot. So what's going to happen is you're going to have lots of jobs lost. So even though the good is a luxury good, um, it doesn't mean that the workers or even the owners of the company are are a particularly uh, wealthy group right so um, the, the crafts people who make boats for example and the people who work in the lumber industry and other industries related to making of boats they're gonna lose jobs so actually uh, in the end this tax is mostly gonna hurt uh, people who work for the companies that make the yachts and it's not going to have hardly any effect whatsoever on the people who buy the yachts yes they, they may choose not to buy yachts but as long as the tax is not on everything there's going to be plenty of other things that they can that they can uh, spend their money on so actually um, this kind of leads us to to a little bit of a conclusion here okay so which we talked about before so if for efficiency purposes meaning not hurting the economy um, so it makes uh, more sense to tax a relatively inelastic good good especially relatively inelastic demand um, and if you put a tax on on a good with elastic demand then you kill the market so if you put a tax on a good with elastic demand um, this mostly hurts mostly hurts firms and workers that produce the good because it's going to lower the quantity, and lowering the quantity is going to lose jobs. Uh, they're going to lose jobs, going to lose profit. So this is um, kind of counterintuitive. Um, so uh, luxury taxes are very popular in most countries. They're very politically popular. Um, 
but actually they don't raise that much revenue. They do, but the revenue is reduced a little bit by the fact um, that the the quantity goes down a lot. It tends to go down a lot, especially if the tax is fairly large. And the second thing is the uh, the tax falls actually much generally falls much more heavily on the companies that make these goods and the people who work for them than it actually does on the customers, which is sort of the intended target. Um, sometimes when people are are thinking about luxury taxes, as being very popular.